Well, it's uh, 5, 10 in the morning. I'm using a little light on my camera here, and man, it is, it is bright. I'm uh, about to do my pre-trip and head over to the delivery. He said to be there at six. Man, it's jam-packed over here for sure. I hate being the guy on the end too. It's, it's just like you're the last a-hole that parked there and decided to block people in because he's definitely blocking some people in. But I just let him out. I know it's bright. It's really a bright, bright light for him too. So, I'm getting ready to leave. Wow. That's the lowest setting? That's the lowest setting, wow. That thing gets bright. It's this little itty bitty tiny light. Look. Look at this thing. It's tiny. And it is really powerful. So, I'm uh, I'm gonna get ready to go. Usually I would like line five it over there, just so I won't start my clock. But if I start my clock right now, um, I'm gonna be done at 7 p.m., which is 14 hours from now. And I don't drive that late, so it's not that big of a deal for me to just start my pre-trip here, burn seven minutes of drive time getting over there, and then sitting there waiting for him to offload me. You know, it's it's all about the same. At least for me, um, I'm just burning more of my 70 and 11 clock. But other than that, it's, it's not a real big deal. <sighs> and I'm tired, so we'll see if he actually offloads me at six. I'm loading up here in Parchment, Michigan. They said that this old abandoned building here used to be a paper mill. Which obviously is very appropriate because this is Parchment, Michigan. It's a paper, one of the paper capitals of the country. But I'm kind of surprised they haven't torn this thing down. Copper robbers and homeless and graffiti artists and all that stuff has destroyed this place. But it costs money to tear stuff down. But I'm loaded, or loading, almost done. And I'm going to parchment, or to, um, I'm in parchment. I'm going to Lumberton, North Carolina, which is south of Fayetteville, quite a ways. And I'll be there, I'll do my restart. I'll get there tomorrow. Um, because today's Friday, obviously. And I'll, uh, I'll get there tomorrow and be able to, uh, do my restart on Sunday and then drop Monday. I don't need a restart either, but I wanted a longer run and this is 800 something miles, which is would be longer than most of the stuff that they go have me do. So I'm okay with it. I get to go back out of the East Coast, which I haven't been out to in, I don't know, six months. Puppy's nice and excited. His smooshed face when he lays down. <coughs> <clears throat> so <sighs> be a very easy weekend to say the least well I've been parked for the last little bit over here in Bidwell, Ohio not too far from West Virginia I suppose it's close enough to West Virginia just to call this Northern West Virginia Got eight hours to the truck stop I'm going to stay at until Monday. Watching a little Ted Lasso again. I watched it completely through once. Sometimes eating. So, I'm about ready to edit some more and then go to bed. I'm tired. Oh, watching all these guys drive through here like idiots and then this guy right here is blocking people from getting out so when I pulled in here uh, there's tons of tons of parking all over the place specifically chose this exact spot because all the spots next to me were open because I know I can pull out pretty easy and I'm gonna get fuel in the morning so it shouldn't be too terribly difficult just to uh, pull out and go get in the fuel island 
But I'm gonna take some NyQuil and knock myself out and try and get up as early as I can and get going tomorrow. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But puppies eating real quick and then uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm pretty exhausted, but I get like a two thirds of a day tomorrow worth of driving, and then I'm down till Monday. Hopefully I can go to a bar where I'm staying at tomorrow or tomorrow night. So we'll just have to kind of see. But that's where I'm at tonight. So unless something interesting happens like this guy here gets hit by a truck turning the corner, 